Paul Green was at the helm and he will never ever be forgotten by the team North Queensland and today the first time in their 685 game history that they have played here at the Sydney Cricket Ground a Greeny would be proud of the club that they are yeah, that man's been in great form, Scott Drinkwater. I think one of the success stories, not just inside the Cowboys, but right across the game for 2022. The, the challenges that he faced, uh, facing and, and not to be squeezed out of the side, and he has been that good that uh, he's kept that number one spot uh, since uh, round three in the competition. So Drinkwater in great form, and it is a battle against the man that will play his 200th, the Roosters skipper, James Tedesco. Here he is, man of the moment, James Tedesco takes the Roosters out. Well, we've got some great fullbacks in the competition, some number ones that do amazing things, but I, I don't think we've got a number one that does it as consistently as James Tedesco, who just does everything in his power to get his side a win. That's the key to Tedesco. Uh, not just his brilliance, and, and that he's got plenty of. It's his. It's his will to get his side across the line and get his side the win that makes him the special player he is. And now respective embraces for both teams in their huddles as we will have a minute silence as a tribute to Paul Green who passed away age 49. Please be upstanding for a moment's silence in memory of Paul Green. Rooster number 998. Paul Green played two seasons for the club and was a member of the 2002 Premiership winning squad. He returned to the Roosters in 2013 as an assistant coach to Trent Robinson, contributing heavily to the club's Premiership success. In 2014, Paul was appointed head coach of the North Queensland Cowboys, a position he held for seven seasons. He led the club to their inaugural NRL Premiership in 2015, a World Club Challenge title in 2016, and another grand final appearance in 2017. Paul left a lasting legacy on both clubs and on everyone he met. May he rest in peace. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, and again to the family and closest friends of Paul Green. Our thoughts are with you at this time here on Fox League. And there will be a minute silence at all matches. And again tonight, uh, two of the clubs that he represented uh, when uh, the, well, the Broncos play tonight against the Knights. Uh, you have the Sharks against the Tigers in our next match. So Green, he touched so many in his time in this great sport of rugby league. Vossi, there's a, there'd be a host of Cowboys players that have not played at the SCG and things are a little different. The, the, the circular ground, the cricket pitch out in the middle, just those couple of little things that make it that can make a difference. For the record, it's the Roosters 324th ground uh, game at the ground in their history. We're underway on Super Saturday. It's a it's a ripper to start the round today. The three matches as Wairia Hargreaves takes the first hit up of the day, a roll he relishes, and uh, the Roosters, Todd Payton, the Cowboys coach, said they fear the fast start. And Trent Robinson, pre-match, said we want to play fast and live, keep the ball in play. So high energy, and Lodge is the man with it up just short of the 30-metre line. And uh, the Roosters now going two passes wide of the ruck. Mano into the play. There are battles, as Brandy said, across the park here today. And stars up against stars. The number of Origin players in the Cowboys ranks, as you know, grew significantly this year. They've had big match experience. Walker's first kick of the day brings one of their stars for the Cowboys drink water into it. How good has he been? And a good kick chase by the Roosters. Manu with a tackle. Butcher was down there as well. And the Roosters looking to make a statement with his first set in defence. WA Fido with this run. That's three plays and they're still inside their 20. Now Robson on for Talungi to take a run. 
And that's an early advantage with the Roosters. And the Cowboys toiling hard, but as hard as they worked, last tackle and they're, they'll be kicking from just outside their 20. That was a tough set. Wobbling kick, bounces on, and uh, Suwali will have his first run of the game. Let's go down to the sideline in the sunshine at the SCG Larrapit. Bossy, what a beautiful sunny afternoon here at the SCG. It is Members Appreciation Day here for the Roosters in their second last home game here. The Cowboys, they got here nice and early to try and familiarise themselves with the ground, having never played here before many of them. And this means now all 16 NRL clubs have featured at this historic ground. Yeah, that's a good stat. We should have set you up on a card table down there today. Three o'clock match of the day, Saturday, SCG. Frank Hyde would be looking down and smiling. Dwayne of radio commentary, last tackle, Roosters. 20 metres out from the line, carry a bomb to the corner. Tabuai Fido, it's knocked back by the Roosters. It's a stacks on the mill in the corner. To play the ball. But a bit of anti-climax, really, just play the ball. Cowboys will have... No, Roosters will have possession. Yeah, I thought the Cowboys took that out. Luke Keary's kick didn't go as long as he wanted it to, but in the sun, Tabuai Fido was beaten by... Daniel Tupo, and that's another one of the matchups that is fascinating this afternoon. The, the two wing, the battle between the four wingers. Roosters with the ball and the early advantage. So Viral's up for Warrior Hargreaves. Cowboys goal line defense will be tested in the opening minutes of the contest. They miss out Lodge Kiri dumping it off. And uh, we know how good the Cowboys defense is statistically. And their second half defense has just been exceptional. Now, Kiri, big lineup set. But uh, Townsend put his body on the line there in the tackle with Nenai. Four meters away from the line. JWH knows what to do on the spin there. That's four. Verrills misses out Lodge again. Radley floats it up over the top. Oh, Victor Radley has put it onto the, the bread basket of Joseph Sawali to score the opening try of the match. What a piece of skill from Victor, the inflictor. Yeah, dragged the defence in and realised that Joseph Sawali was open out wide. Just had two players, Luke Keary and Nat Butcher with him. But the fact that Victor Radley went so far into that defensive line through the dummy, little double pump there, Val Holmes was in a long way and that left Joseph Sawali open. But that this try has been set up off the back of the first defensive set from the Roosters where they forced the Cowboys to kick from inside their own 30. It was a kick that really didn't travel that far and then off the back of the next set, they got a result from the kick off Keary. Three, four tackles later, they come up with their first points, but both coaches spoke about the fast start. Yep. Todd Payton was worried about it and for good reason. You know, three tries in the opening 15 minutes against the Broncos last week for the Roosters. Manly, they, they led 18-6 at half time. the Roosters. 16-2 against the Newcastle Knights the week before that. And a 12-0 lead against the Dragons in, in 20 minutes. So they have been fast starters, and for good reason. Peyton was concerned about it, and you know, the Roosters have uh, lived up to what they've been doing over the last month. Side to be feared. Suwali has 14 tries for the season for Radley. Just his second direct try assist of the year. Via the Fox Sports Lab stats, Al Walker hits the post. No goal, 4-0 start. But Victor Radley in a World Cup year. England, pretty impressed with what they've just seen. Look, he, he double pumped then, and, and it was an awkward pass in the end because of his body, how it was facing and the fact that the defence would had actually gone past the ball. Um, so Victor Radley's manufactured a pass that has seen the Roosters score their first one through Suwala. It was uh, a Sam Walker type pass. Remember that game against the Sharks here last year, wasn't it? Body jammed up, had to, had to throw it awkwardly, but found the mark. It's a Harbour Bridge pass in Sydney. It's a rainbow pass in any other state or city. So now... Cowboys find themselves down by four, and we're back where we started just a few minutes ago. Waria Hargreaves, and he goes, and there's a wall of Cowboys defenders ready for him. 43rd meeting of these two clubs. The Cowboys have won on only 12 occasions. 
Salali accused of milking there by referee Klein, which is uh, appropriate against the Cowboys, I suppose, of, of Klein. Well, the Cowboys have only had one set with the ball, but it's been a very strong start from their two front rollers. Lodge and, and Warrior Hargreaves have been fantastic. Manu's in a mood that he's not prepared to just hang out in the centres waiting for the ball to come to him. He's uh, he's had a number of touches already. His lodge lifted there by Cotter. They gave him a, a soft landing, if you will. Back for Walker, another kick. They're up on him. That was Hess, fielded by Taolungi. Now, he's one of the players that has graduated to origin representation this year. That big match experience has to help them at this end of the season. And here they are, 15 metres inside their own half. Tabuai Fido on this run. Townsend and Hiku. He's one of your, your, one of your unsung heroes, really, for the Cowboys. He's played every game this year. He's proven a, a very handy acquisition for them. Now, Cotter. Just on the edge of the cricket pitch square there. Last tackle, Cowboys. It's been a... A straightforward set by them. Drinkwater's kick. Suwali's rushing at it. Suwali on the fly. Well, doesn't he do things spectacularly? <laughs> Joseph Suwali had a had a lot of ground to make up before he got himself under that ball. That was, and they get the penalty. <laughs> yeah, his eyes were never off the ball, like he was coming in from the outfield for a catch there. At the cricket, sprinting, sprinting, sprinting in. in to get himself under the ball. And you could say he won his side a penalty. Such was his enthusiasm now, Warrior Hargreaves. So, at 4-0 up, play one, 35 minutes away from the Cowboys' line. The fast starters are off again, the Roosters. Now Radley. And they are lined up deep and left here. Here they go. Kiri gets them started. Lodge takes a hit up. In uh, what is his fifth game as a rooster? Quick play the ball. And again, they're going with Bradley. The Cowboys defense read it beautifully. Did it. What an improved player he is. The number six for North Queensland. In the middle. Yeah, Luke Keary just got dragged to his feet then by a teammate. Bradley deep into the line and might have gone a little too deep because by the time the ball reached Keary, Dearden was on top of him. Sometimes the, the ball players can go too far into the line and reduce the time that the man receiving the ball has to catch it and then play. So, great play by Dearden, and the Cowboys now have possession. Tom Dearden, one time Peter Sterling medal winner as a number one schoolboy footballer in the country. And the Cowboys get a penalty, so a little swing their way here. Yeah, they needed it, didn't they? Only two sets with the ball. This will get them out of their own end. So as far as they've been upfield so far in the match, they'll be in the Roosters half shortly, you would think. Here is Cotter. Seven metres inside their own half. Nine minutes gone. Game one of Super Saturday on Fox League. This is your lineup for the rest of the day. The Tigers and Sharks in Tamworth. And the Broncos and Knights at Suncorp as the Cowboys get back-to-back -back penalties. Well, just saying Sam Walker had his hand on the ball for too long. That's all it was. Uh, just, just, just a little knee. He, yeah. Actually, <laughs> subtle. Not a whole lot. Ac I think an accidental knee, but maybe too close to the crowding. Well, that's right. After the call of Hild, so Cowboys are with it, and uh, Didden just dropping that back off. Whenever they get in the scoring zone, you, you're looking for the number 12 to flash up. Jeremiah Nenai on this try scoring run. Oh, Drinkwater is finished off by Suwali. A Suwali sandwich, what would you call that tackle? Got to give it a name, he's, he's got a few victims this year. He gets better and better. The Cowboys 30 metres away from the line, now Robson deciding to run. He's one of the best out of dummy half, the Roosters know that. Now Townsend, a kick from 15 away, and up goes Momorowski. The Cowboys have the leap 
by the Cowboys on the last. And knock on it is, you hear from Klein. We get out, Chad. Well, no yeah. surprise to see where Chad Townsend wait, was wait. kicking. Here's the shot from Come Joseph on. Sawali on okay. no Scott Drinkwater. Okay. Didn't have much time to think about it, did he? Swung around in the tackle, and all of a sudden, Sawali was monstering him. And then Nanai will be the target on that right edge for the kicks from either Townsend or Did. Now 11 minutes into the game. There's the customary jump, if you like, by Joey Manu into the defence. He's the chief tackle buster in the competition. 124 this year. Manu. I guess we're waiting for Tedesco to leave an impact here. Kick for the chase for Tupo. And it's over the sideline, but that's how quick the game is moving at the moment. The Roosters all the way up the Cowboys' end of the field. Yeah, and that was off the back of a quick play, the ball from Tedesco. Uh, no better man on play four to run the ball than Tedesco, because quite often, especially at a dummy half, he will get a quick play, the ball, and give the kick a time. And that's exactly what happened there. Kiri would have liked that one to stay in, but still found touch only five metres out. So time for Holmes to get involved. Leading point scorer in the NRL coming into this round. Uh, Hiku's got another run, and the Cowboys doing well to get away from their own danger zone here. A little slow to his feet, Hiku. Off for Cotter. Oh, shortened up there. Hello, Ruben. Welcome to the SCG. Now, Tal Malolo, right in the centre of the SCG. Robson. Back away for Townsend, and he kicks long and high to Desco into the play with it. And of course he beats the first. Here's another tackle bus for the year. He was sitting on uh, plenty coming into this. Too many behind uh, Joey Manu, James Tedesco. He had 12 tackle bus last week against Brisbane. The Roosters turn right in the centre of the ground. Maria Hargreaves to play it. Verrills to Radley, on for Lodge. Hit and spin, cut off load. Tackler was Nanai, quick play to ball. Well done by Lodge, Kiri's kick. Pressure on Drinkwater. In the end, the chasers are there. Crichton was first man in. Yeah, great stuff, great kick from Luke Kiri. Lands at three or four oh. metres. Oh, what? Oh, no, what's going on here? The Cowboys panicked in front of their own goal. It was heart attack stuff to heart attack stuff there. And look yeah, who it was that came so jamming in. The goal and drop out. It was Joseph Sawali. Here's Drinkwater trying to head across field. Great chase from Angus Crichton makes the tackle. Then they try and get across the defence. Look, Joey Sawali's a long way in. If they get it outside him, there was space. But Sawali, impact on Deed. And they'll get the ball back. They'll still play up about the interference on Drinkwater and the play the ball. Yeah, it could have easily been a penalty. He's, he was swung around again. Maria Hargreaves coming back. So the Roosters certainly with a run of play here. 14 minutes gone. They've been rewarded with one try already. Lodge has just lobbed it up. The offload. In line, says Klein and his sideline officials rather than forward. Now the ball with Walker, dumping it off. In comes Manu, running away from where Holmes would be opposite him. That was the last Cowboys defender, came in to make the tackle. 20 in from touch. But uh, this is a Rooster side in good form now. Lodge again. He will play it 10 metres away from the line. Verrills. Then Radley, oh, Ooh, they got that wrong. Tedesco, able to pick it up, but hardly quality clean ball. He still makes something of it. Last play it is for the Roosters. Kicker in place, that's Walker. He'll look for Tupo. Here comes the Giraffe, it's back. It's gone dead in goal. It's another line dropout. Just needed another foot in the air there for Tupo to make a real play at that one, Sam Walker. In the end, the hammer so the hammer got his hands to the ball first. Tupo just couldn't get there. Okay, go on, guys, let's go. But they just keep heaping the pressure on the Cowboys here. Stay behind. He's a pretty good leaper himself, Tabuai Fido, but not with the uh, scrapbook of Tupo. The short dropout 
It is very much in vogue. The Roosters have got it. All the good sides are doing the short drop out now. And they're getting better at it. Lodge with it. 12 metres away from the Cowboys line. Field position very much with the home side. Turned inside there for Butcher. He's coming off a two-try effort against the Bronx. Five away from the line. Maria Hargreaves. Radley short. Lodges over for the Roosters. The engine room combined. And Lodge ends a 43-game try drought. And he's got his first as a Rooster. And they'll lead by 10 in just a moment. Outstanding pressure footy from the Roosters. Two-line dropouts forced on the Cowboys. And you're right, the middles combine. Maria Hargreaves backs his way into the defence, picks up Victor Radley and a short ball to Matt Lodge. The two front rowers have been outstanding to start the game. Both Lodge and Maria Hargreaves, they know they enjoy a bulk of the possession. Maria Hargreaves, seven runs, 65 metres. Lodge, 10 runs, 77 metres already. 17 minutes into the game. And now they combine to get the Roosters their second try. It's gone from a fast start to a red-hot start to the Roosters. Lodge's last try is uh, over three seasons ago, round 19-2019. Uh, scoring for the Broncos against the Titans. Well, that's a clever little play that no one was expecting. No one was expecting Radley to come in behind Maria Hargreaves and pick up the other front rower. Uh, the defence wasn't ready for it and didn't read it. They continue to test the Cowboys. Walker successful. A 10-0 scoreline through 17 and a half minutes. Lara on the sideline. Yeah, that man there, Victor Radley, having a great time out here on the SCG. He's already got two try assists in this all-important matchup. And, of course, we know now he will feature in the World Cup wearing England colours. You can catch every minute of the World Cup right here on Fox League. Yeah, Lara, the first game of all Australia and England but play in separate matches on the first day. But England are drawn to play at Samoa at St James Park up in Newcastle, the first game. So, Victor Radley... Barring injury, he'll, he'll be part of it. That's exciting. So, 10-0 scoreline. And uh, the Roosters, Maria Hargreaves is loving the challenge of locking horns with one of the best packs in the competition. That's his seventh hit up of the day, 65 metres for Jared. Working hard with eight tackles as well. Lodge is following his front row partner. For Lodge, that's 10 hit up, 77 metres and four tackle busts with a four-pointer now in the bag. Crichton, who isn't doing their job for the Roosters at the moment? It's a very impressive start again. Now with a bit of football to, to use, it will feel the freedom. This play it is. Back for Walker. Again under a bit of pressure. Drink water with it. And uh, the Cowboys having to run out from inside their own 20 again. They've had only eight tackles inside the Roosters' half so far. And those kicks from Keary and Walker are landing inside the 10. It's, it's exactly where you want to land it. They're too close to the try line. Don't want to give a seven tackle set away, but we're dropping it right in the area where it's making it tough for the Cowboys. So Cohen Hessoff and Luciano Leilua into the game. His sixth game as a Cowboy. Oh, floated over the top, Townsend. Tabuai Fido with it. Able to brush aside from one, but they get inside the Roosters' half, but sadly it's the last in the count for them. Back to Townsend. A kick to Tedesco's way. Here he is, James Tedesco. Uh, well handled there by Dearden. Mind you, double figure leads. I mean, how many of them get wiped away? No one's, no one's dismissing the Cowboys at all at this stage. But uh, well, they've yeah. just had very little chance to put yeah, any pressure right. on the Roosters. They haven't had any quality ball at the other end. So we'll wait and see when that happens. But the Roosters well on top at the moment. They're a very good side getting repeat sets, but to date they've had only the one tackle inside the Roosters' 20. And they try to bomb out Nanai's way. Maria Hargreaves moving freely. 
He's uh, bounced back from a number of weeks off with a, a hamstring problem. Last play, Roosters. Kiri kicking from 40 metres out. Tabuai Fido again looking towards the sun there and going back towards his own goal line. They're going across field. The Cowboys at their peril. I don't know about that. Oh, so long, he nice and determined. That's a good run. Well, the, the speed of those three at the back for the Cowboys, it, it, the Roosters have to make sure that their, their chase is right across the field. We just saw they almost got on the outside. With Hamaso and Drinkwater, very quick. Roosters are getting ready to get uh, Egan Butcher out there. He's very much on the a rapid improve and a contributor to the Roosters. Now Tal Malolo. No freedom for him so far. Ten inside their own half. Again, kicking from inside their 40. Townsend on the fall to Tedesco. This is a bit of a bit broken record areas, isn't it? It's, it's just kick. Get to the last. Under pressure. Down to Tedesco and the Roosters start up again. Well, as, if, as impressive as the Roosters have been, and they've had a, a lot of the ball in the field position, their defence has been able to back it up and make it hard for the Cowboys. And you see there, Matt Lodge, the player off for the Roosters. He can be very happy with his great first contribution hit. early. Just those numbers confirmed. 11 hit-ups, 86 metres, four tackle busts, offload, line break, try. Yeah. Fair numbers for a front row. And now Kiri, on it goes to Desko Momorowski. Momorowski inside the 30. Last play, Cowboys. Maybe a kick for Suwali is coming up. Kiri with it. He puts it across field. It won't be. It's not uh, Suwali. It's Manu. They crash. He's got it down, I reckon. He crashed into the posts. Leilua lodges a protest. The bunker will have the final say. Couple six here, Adam. I have no try. Confirm that um, Joey Manu loses the ball. Um, we do have a tackle, but it's in it's the goal area. So there's are, are you, your face there's reading defenders, jo there's goalpost padding, there's a lot here. Yeah, well, there is. A spectacular take from Manu, who got over the top of Scott Drinkwater. We've cleared Roosters kick chases being onside. Joey Manu takes clean possession at this stage. They're into the pad in a moment. Oh, Dearden geez. backs his way in. And now there. Manu falls into the end goal. Leilua. Oh, <laughs> gee. Oh, I, hard Just to see exactly to what happened. determine if Joey goal. Manu maintains possession or not. Gets a bit of space in between his legs and the ball disappears behind his arm. It's just whether the, the hand is still on it when it hits the ground. I, 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 that's not going to show us because we can't see his hand. Mm. Will there be another angle that we'll be able to... Just looking at all available angles. Will let us see whether his hand's still on that ball. Did he keep it in the crook of the, the wrist? Manu, that's the that's the key here. This looks like it, it's as good as an angle they're going to get. Mm, it sort of pushed back. It did. See, I suppose if it's set up try, it's probably... Based on the live decision of no it? try, Joey Manu hand comes away from the ball as it is pushed down Luciano Leilua's leg. We have a decision. You're right. If it was sent up a try, there's probably <coughs> no evidence to overturn it and say it's no try. But I'll, I'll, I'll check. Just wait, guys. Yeah, it's, oh, it's, oh, a, it's, oh, a, it's a close call. I mean, even the most ardent Roosters on, fan there. On the face of it, I'm going to say his hand came balance off. Balance of probability, yes. yes. Not often we're Where on the same go? page as uh, the bunker, but we are there. And uh, the Cowboys are with the ball, but certain a close call. It would have been 16-0 in a heartbeat had they locked it in. Great effort all the same by Manu. We talked about superstars coming into the game. They are adding their superstar touches. This is hard work for the Cowboys. And uh, a 10-point deficit. Gilbert took the run there. To centre field, Taumalolo pushes along. Townsend does the same. Nenai has a touch. And has oh. lost the ball. Uh, Fossey, I was, I was just about to say, well, all the Cowboys can do is try and work it out and get to their kick. What they don't want to do is make an error. 
and give the, the field position, even more field position to the Roosters. Now Nanai's come up with an error here. It's his first run in the 23rd minute for Nanai. <laughs> and, he's, and he's lost it. He waits 23 minutes to have a, to have a run with the ball and he's lost it. Kiri and Egan Butcher making the tackle. Uh, it's probably 20 metres better from where the Roosters have been starting their sets. Cohen Hess only had one run in his uh, opening stint. You compare that to, to Lodge with 11. Uh, forward battle being won by the Roosters here. And uh, they pick up where they left off. The bench players come in and Butcher runs hard. Now for Waria Hargreaves. He really is a warrior, this fella. Week in, week out. He got uh, stung in that tackle. Radley, Kiri, Crichton running at Townsend in reverse now. The white lights are on, the reversing truck. Nine metres short of the Cowboys' line. And the ball the is lost. The Cowboys ramp it up there. Gilbert's happy. Well, Kiri hit Angus Crichton with a short ball there. He must have, he must have gone backwards 15 metres. Nice flat ball, backs into Townsend, just keeps going, just keeps going and gets up. Thought about passing it. And from behind, you couldn't see, there it is. Just loses control of it, which un undid all the good work. Cowboys completing at 80%. Uh, the Roosters, with that error, down to 79%. But again, the, the end of the field, we're watching the Cowboys do all their work with a ball is, uh, be, has been primarily inside their, their 30 or their 40. There's Robson, he's pushed along by Gilbert and Ruben Cotter, but going across field there. And that's the third for the Cowboys. Now Robson on the run. Tom Malolo will find himself a dummy half here. Gilbert. Rips into him there. Back up to the 40. Last play. Another kick. Yet another kick from inside their half. Will it be Townsend straight to Tedesco? Watch it again. This time he's angled it out Tupo's way. Take your pick. Who do you want running back at you on one? Brandy, do you want Tedesco, Suwali, or Tupo? Oh, gee, that's, that's a tough one, Fossey. <laughs> Phone a friend. Phone a friend, Brandy. I don't want Tupo. <laughs> and I don't want him either. Oh, Suwali explodes through for the Roosters. Bullet kick his way downfield. Just a reminder, he's 19. You want to feed him? Now the Roosters. Kerry with a dummy. Butcher was hammered after passing Egan Butcher. Now Manu. This is some serious assault on the Cowboys. Verrills, Radley, then for Watson. Butcher ran through without the ball. Last play, Roosters. Pick your target. Here we go. It's Kiri. Goes low this time. Turns them around. Off the boot of Hiku for another. Another line dropout. It'll be the third of the afternoon. Yeah, again, great Queensland. pressure footy. And here's the... You asked me the question, who do I want running at me? Tupo, Sawali or Tedesco? I, none of them. None of the three. Sawali bullocking his way for a 30-metre run to get the, the Chooks in position. And they get their third line dropout. They are playing some great footy, the Roosters, this afternoon. It's Sorry about a ball there. 13 minutes to go. Where, where has the half gone? Look at this play. Eight runs for 93 metres so far today. Has not long celebrated his 19th birthday. Cowboys go short again. There's jumpers, there's leapers there, but the Roosters have got one of the best. Tupo positioned. 20 metres away from the line. Oh, boy. This is really tough for the Cowboys trying to repel the Roosters wave after wave of attack. Butcher with that one. So both Nat and Egan on the field at the moment for the home team. Verrills, Radley squares them up. Kerry Tedesco lost a grip of it. That's a real let off. He never quite had it. James Tedesco. Yeah, just didn't have the ball in his hands properly to throw a decent pass. Tried quickly, almost got stuck. Momorowski tries to bat it, and all he does is push it forward out the two-boat. So the Cowboys do survive.
They do survive, so they, they've been Let's under assault here from the Roosters. But again, they'll, they'll, they'll have to bring it out from their own 10 metre line. So I assume they called the Tedesco one okay, but obviously the Momorowski one was definitely forward. Yep. And here are the Cowboys. Same story. Fans up the uh, Paddington end of the ground are seeing very little rugby league in this first half. They've got the binoculars out. They've got a telescope out, trying to see how far the players away from them. Cowboys just one tackle inside the Roosters 20. 11 tackles only inside the Roosters half and only just. Jordan McLean on the, on the field for the first time in a month. Of course, missed out on Origin 3 with a, a hamstring strain at training. Very disappointing. Now, the Cowboys of Townsend kicking. Can he find the grass? He has. He got it over Tedesco's head. The Cowboys keeping it cool. I mean, this is part of the improvement. Resilience shown on their own line. A set like that, now they'll put pressure on the Roosters. That's really good play, North Queensland. Yeah, great kick. They needed one to find the ground, and they, they got it there, and the bounce... Gained them another 15 metres. Don't take Chad out of play. Two. Okay, use your foot. Go, two. Right, a lot of instruction in all of that, and Momorowski. You would like to think the referees at the elite level wouldn't have to say use your foot. But uh, there you go. Now the ball with Crichton. Roosters on their 30. How the Cowboys would wish a mistake from Trent Robinson's side here. There's Radley, they're rolling up the sleeves in the, this set, the Roosters. Back with Walker, he's doing all the long kicking today. This one swings back towards Tabuai Fido. The sun's gone behind the clouds now. Well, the Roosters have made four errors, but they've all been down this end of the field. And they haven't given any cheap field position to the Cowboys yet. Hiku trying to get on the outside there. Game of a few offloads so far. The Roosters have had three. The Cowboys only one. And all the line breaks have been with the Roosters so far. Three zip. Played by Nanai. And now for McLean. So they've got McLean on now. They've got Tanoa Brown and Leilua. Griffin Neem still to come. He's been a bit of an X factor lately. Scored a try the last couple of weeks. The, the Cowboys young prop who wears the number 17. Last tackle here with Townsend from 35 metres out. Chases a plenty. Tupo is there. Another excellent take at the back by Tupo for the Roosters. They've scored a lot of tries off kicks this year, the Cowboys. And uh, Robinson noted that pre-match. They must, they must be on song in defending the Cowboys' last tackle play. Yeah, very quick moving defensive line here, the Cowboys, to shut down a, a shift from the Roosters. So they've done a good job so far. Hills and Watson. And uh, three in the tackle. Watson onto his back. Just over nine to go in the first half. The Roosters down the short side. Kerry's kick got it past Drinkwater. There are five, six, seven Roosters chasers. Drinkwater trying to outrun them. And uh, Egan Butcher makes the tackle. There's only about four Cowboys on side. And again, they start a set inside their 20. The Roosters, bar a few mistakes, are playing some perfect football. So Ali over the top and will be pinged for this tackle on Dearden. Tommy did and tough little. Well, he does nothing half-hearted, Joseph Suwali. And Dearden had just started to drop in the Joseph, tackle after the, the, the shot there. Ooh, and there's well, the contact. He's on report. Suwali. On the line. Yeah, one to be looked at. Wait for the tap. And Wait the Cowboys the with it on the resumption. And uh, finally, they start a set inside the Roosters' half. At last. Let's see what they can deliver. As we've highlighted, they're very good at getting repeat sets. If they get down there, Townsend's had a dozen forced dropouts this year. Here is Dearden. They lure inside the 20. Cowboys fans start to get a little excited for the first time as far as their attack is concerned. Robson to Dearden. Dummy to Tanel Brown. Cotter 
into the clutches there of Crichton. Robson back towards the goalpost. Dearden and Drinkwater flicked on by Leilua. Talagi for the corner. Big and strong and scores. Well, we've highlighted the Roosters' wingers. Let me tell you, the Cowboys' Roosters... Well, the Roosters let you know that the Cowboys' wingers have plenty of game in them as well. Well, they've been up the other end of the field for so long. They've had very few chances down this end of the field. Only three tackles inside the 20. It was a beautiful tip on here from Leilua. Just one-handed, batted it out. He spotted Sam Walker, Murray Tuolangi, and just thought, I'm going to run over the top of Sam Walker, the littlest player on the field, make him, force him to make the tackle. That took Tedesco out of play. He crashed into Tedesco. Clever play from Luciano Leilua and... Yeah, Walker actually took out Tedesco because Tulangi just picked him out and thought, well, that's the easiest way to the try line. Oh, good stuff from the Cowboys. Really good, really good. Their resilience on their own line has been outstanding. This is the Cowboys. They are the real deal. There's no question of that. And Tulangi, the try scorer, second only to Nanai in the club stakes for leading try scorer. Manu was complaining about interference previous to that. But a try was confirmed quickly. No obstruction play. And the Cowboys have their first try. And it is Holmes kicking for the reduction to a four-point margin. And he's kicked very well this year. He's kicking at 83%. Valentine Holmes. But far stronger. Better numbers from the right side. He's 12 from 16 from the right. Holmes. Let's see how he goes. First kick of the day from the left. A long way back. Think of all the great kickers who had shots from here at the SCG. Holmes' first kick is as good as any of them. Bombs it right over the black dot. Yeah, well, Ten points to six. Yeah, talking about the power of the, the Roosters wingers, and they've had all the ball, but he's no shrinking violet. Murray Tulangi, big boy, just powers over the top of the... The three roosters there, and with the goal kicked by Valentine, it's 10 6. It's been yeah. all the roosters, but it's 10 6. The Fox League commentator is going to get a handshake, Brandy. You should lead that. Lara Pitt on the sideline at 10 points to 6 to the roosters. Yeah, Todd Payton will be absolutely thrilled with this at half time, trailing by just four points in this all important matchup. His emphasis was on the start, so won't be happy with that. But they have been a little bit frantic to start games. They've certainly settled things down here, and they're very much in this one. Yeah, well, Lewis certainly played his part. That was a lovely tip on. That's mm. as good as you've seen this year. A little tap on play by Leilua. Blinkered, you missed it. What about it? We've watched David Norfolk this weekend with his second game uh, as a Melbourne Storm player. Leilua is now with the Cowboys side that is still a shot at the minor premiership. Talk about a change in fortunes for you. Now, with Drinkwater, his outstanding form continuing here today. Townsend with a bomb from 40 metres out. Tedesco is all over it. The Roosters are back with the ball. Now, I think that's part of Drinkwater's game that's improved out of sight. And that just that last carry of his, the quick play the ball, it was a strong carry. Uh, we haven't seen that from him in previous years. And I, I think this is just a thing of experience for Drinkwater that the Roosters get the penalty. Their second penalty of the day. There's been five. There's been no set restarts today. None at all. From Ashley Klein through the 35 minutes. But that that's also got a bit to do with a lot of football played inside the 40s. You know, apart from well, you don't. You get you get a penalty rather than a set restart. And the Cowboys have done a lot of running outs from inside their own 40 today. Who's to start here? Eight metres into the Cowboys half. There's Egan Butcher. He's only his eighth game for the year, but I think he's there to stay. Egan Butcher. He's in the 17 every week now. Across for Crichton. He's a powerhouse, Crichton. He takes some bringing down, doesn't he? Well, Nanai and Cotter, a couple of the Origin players, made the tackle there. And now Watson. They're trying to strip the ball away at first attempt to Noel Brown. Here is Verrills switching left. Walker then back inside for May. 
Terrell May with the ball, five metres from the line. Roosters, chance left. Walker, Mabarovsky, Tempo! It's a great day to be a winger. They want to check the grounding. Townsend was doing the call there. Klein says try. Suwali got one earlier. Talungi has scored for the Cowboys. And now Tupo's on the ball. They were so quick up off the line there. I, I didn't think the Roosters were any hope of getting the ball on the outside. Look how quick they're up. Hiku's in the face of Walker. Somehow he just gets it out to Momorowski. He quickly transfers the ball to Tupo. And let's just have a look at the put down. Looks good. He was looking up the board anxiously, Ooh. but that's... He landed awkwardly. Yeah. It, was a, it, it was an awkward put down because of the defence and Drinkwater coming across to try and stop it. Here we go. Here we go. No. Try. Oh, face plan. Yeah, awkward he does, finish. He does know about scoring tries. He scored 130, but that time was the ball and the beak that hit the ground. Yeah, Hamaso just backpedalling to try and stop after they raced off the, off the line to try and shut it down. But it was the, the quality of the passes on the inside, both from Sam Walker and Paul Momorowski, just to give Daniel Tupo that space down the touchline. There he is now within 10 of the great Anthony Minicello in the club list. Roosters only getting their second penalty of the day, and that's, that's led to this try. The field position got them out of trouble. We'll show you a package of the wingers' tries in a moment from today. The day where Suwali got his 14th of the year. Tupo has now got his 12th of the year. And Taolungi for the Cowboys scoring what was his 12th try of the season. And all wonderful finishes. I think it's, I mean, it's he's a shade of the tomato sauce on Tabu Fido. He'll get a try as well now. There's been a plunge on Tabu Fido to be next to score. So Walker right from the touchline. Valentine Holmes has just banged one over from the touchline at the other end. So here we go. From the boot of Walker, right to left. Well, he comes down there. He's hit the upright on one from the right side and now unsuccessful from the left. 14 points to six, 90 seconds to go. First half, the wingers having a great day, Brent. Yeah, certainly are, and it was a Victor Radley Harbour Bridge pass out to Joey Savali for the first of the Roosters' tries. Then it was Murray Tulangi. Very little football down this end of the field, but they strike through that winger, Tulangi, and then the one we just saw, quality passes on the inside and a great finish from Daniel Tupo. Four tries in the first half. There you see the spacing of them. We went through the middle period of the half without anything, and now it's come back alive again. I think no matter which way you look at it, second half is, is going to be something not to be missed in game one of Super Saturday. Halftime show coming up as well. We'll be off to Tenworth for game two today, Tigers and Sharks, and then Suncorp Stadium tonight, Brisbane v Newcastle. Well, if, if the Roosters have been the fast starters over the last month, the, the Cowboys have been the finishers. The, the Cowboys, last week against the Dogs, against the Dragons, the, the week before that, scored three and four tries in the final 20 minutes. So they've been good finishers, the Cowboys. They're still running, the Roosters. Crichton. Five tackles up. They are 35 metres out. Walker's going to Try a bomb again. Tedesco's leading the chase. Drinkwater, couple of good fullbacks there. And Drinkwater doesn't want to put the cue in the rack. He's raced back up to the 20. Oh, play it, play it. Oh, almost through. Grabbed by the shorts by Verrills. And nothing else. Deedon into the half they go. Oh, that was a near thing there. Drinkwater, the quick tap and the footwork as we. Count down to the, the half-time break. Oh, boy. Short tackle by Verrill. First set restart of the, of the game. And the Cowboys along the ground. Still could be trouble. Hiku with the ball into the 30. And lost the ball. That ends the first 40 minutes. A couple of the teams in the top eight slugging it out. Roosters scoring three tries to one. In James Tedesco's 200th game. Half time, it is the Sydney Roosters 14, leading the North Queensland Cowboys 6.
to the rainbow. Sky. Sky. I, I, I think a passing storm, Bossy. Yeah, as Benny Elias once told me, you've got to race over there and look for that carrot at the end of the rainbow. Yeah. Somewhere up Waverley Way. So, second half underway. Real contrast, the sun-drenched SCG under very ominous grey skies. Cowboys in possession, just a stat out of the first half too. You want old-fashioned platform laid early by Waria Hargreaves and Lodge. Between them, they ran 186 metres which is more than the four front rowers combined for the Cowboys used so far this afternoon. It was very impressive stuff early from Waria Hargreaves and Lodge. Here's McLean for the Cowboys. And they are 15 metres inside their own half. Fitness won't be a problem. I don't think there's any fitter side than the Cowboys. There may be them sides equal, but, but none fitter. Our second half specialist. So Noah Brown on that run. And uh, five tackles up in the first set after half time. They have uh, got to their kick. Townsend chases there. Two bows underneath it again. And the Roosters have the ball. Let's go down to the sideline. Lara Pitt was around the sheds at half time. What did you find out from the two coaches, Lara? From Todd Payton, Vossi thought that the Cowboys started too passively, just have to be aggressive against the Roosters. Uh, they haven't thrown their best punch it? yet, just need to be smarter and more disciplined. Well, this is something that didn't happen in the first half. The Roosters go. making an error down their own end. The, the only way the Cowboys got out of trouble in the first half was via penalty. So the Roosters now with Momorowski just dropping the ball as he went to ground there under a number of tacklers. McLean over the top and there's the ball. You can see it just squeezed out. So a great opportunity here for North Queensland. And here they are from the scrum. They switch around to the right side. Holmes. And uh, there was... Uh, drink water lurking they're all moving both sides of the scrum great deception from the cowboys 10 meters away from the roosters line now robson this is a great opportunity cotter didn't for leilua comes to a total submission in the tackle there to avoid a possible shepherd still on though for north queensland quick work just he's a constant threat. The, uh, the fullback for the Cowboys, Drinkwater. Now Townsend across field. This time delivers the flat ball. McLean cut off load. Roosters defence has been good. Cowboys last tackle. They're going to run it. Dead end. They lure off load. Appeared to travel forward. It did. Take your hell, mate. We're going to have a play the ball here. Oh, all over it. Well, he got in behind the defensive line there. tackle there. Tackle one. Leilua with the short ball from Tommy Dearden. Great low tackle there, Sam Walker. Boy, that's just chopped his legs from under him. That needed to be made. And even still, Leilua had an opportunity to pass the ball there. Yeah, that was interesting there um, because a great tackle, Walker. But I think Leilua was saying, well, I did pass and Tedesco knocked it down. But uh, I think Ash Klein's response was, no, you were held anyway. But uh, there we go. Lara Pitt, we had to break in on you. Uh, Trent Robinson's instructions at halftime? Yeah, just positive from Trent Robinson, but just challenged the bench forwards to match the intensity of the starting pack. Felt they lost their way when those guys came from the field a bit. Well, they were exceptional. There's no question of that. And the Roosters just like that, back up to halfway. Keeping Verrills and Watson on the field together. Back for Walker. He's done all the long kicking. With chasers getting through on him. And here is Tabuai Fido. We are looking for the box set of wingers' tries in the second half with only Hamaso yet to cross the line. And, uh, they're ready to go. The Roosters' defence up on Talungi there. Really physical stuff. Way. Again, among those quiet for the Cowboys, we talk about the Roosters forwards. Jason Taumalolo only four hit ups today for 25 metres. 25 metres from Jason Taumalolo. Unusually quiet from Jason Taumalolo. Now, drink water. And Manu was up there with Watson. Five tackles up here, Cowboys. Dearden, another bomb coming. For the Roosters back three to defuse. It's Tupo again. And it is Tupo again. Just coming up with a catch. 
And Jeremiah Nanai was the, the man going up for the Cowboys. We know how good he is in the air, but I don't think there's any safer than Daniel Tupo. Just continue on those numbers. We've got only three runs of the ball for Nanai today for 14 metres. There he is on the leap, but Tupo up to it. Now the Roosters back up towards halfway. Kiri caught there. Momorowski. Centre field with Manu. And, uh, Cotter was driving in low in the tackle. Last play, Roosters to halfway. Going set for set, the two sides since the break. Sails down to the wing of Tabuai Fido. They start a set of their own. With the eight-point margin, Victor's on the bike. It's interesting, we, we see vision at half-time too. Fred Robinson comes into the room. The first player he goes to is Victor Radley in conversation for a good couple of minutes. Shows you the importance of him as a ball player in the Roosters' side. Now it's our lungy and offload, a rare one for the Cowboys today. Robson did the same. They put a couple together there, North Queensland. They'd only done one before that uh, rush in the match so far. Leilua inside the 30 now. Love to be the first to score after the break. Drinkwater dummy passes. It's hit the ground. Is the core play on? No, but yeah. we have penalty. Just on to see what happens. Yeah, North Queensland. Yeah, Valheim's taken out. Uh, he I was looming up on the outside. No, I, we'll see it again, but I'm pretty no, sure that's the, the reason the penalty's been blown. Holmes, Sawali just get his, gets his hands, makes contact. Holmes hits the ground, and yeah. that's enough. Okay, Hold here, wait for the tap. Yes, penalty goes the way of the Cowboys. They are 10 metres away from the line. They never had this sort of field position in the first half to start a set so close to the Roosters' line. And Adam Dubby half Robson into the end goal and onto his back. Two, like a turtle. And we'll go back to the 10 to play. Oh, he went so close, didn't he? They forgot about Reese Robson there, threw the dummy and got himself into the end goal. Desperate stuff to hold him up. And now Cotter, Townsend, McLean onto it. Still intense pressure on the Roosters' defence here. Robson to Townsend, he gives it short to Leilua. They stop the offload, the Roosters defence. Robson, McLean, Townsend, this is Drinkwater, then fed along for Hiku, off the rights. Roosters defence still good, last tackle. Cowboys, Tabuai Fido, to Townsend, a kick hard, ricochet. Roosters up with it. And then they cannon in Momorowski into his own captain there. Tedesco's okay. Roosters back with the ball. I think it was Terrell May who made contact with the ball. He saw that the Townsend kick coming, made a play at it, just stuck that left leg out. Fortunately for the Roosters, it ricocheted back into uh, James Tedesco's hands. It's a tough set now. Just outside the 20, play four. Eight minutes into the second half, and the Roosters, this is how the Cowboys found themselves for much of the first 30 of the, the opening half. Having to work it off their own line. And back for Walker to kick long again with Cotter up in his face. Kick Talungi's way, he's with it. And yet another run for Murray Talungi. They only had three tackles inside the Roosters' 20-metre area in that first half. They've had 14 now, so 11 second-half tackles. Cowboys putting the pressure on the goal-line defence of the Roosters. Another little attempted at scurry by Robson. You saw the shot of uh, Radley and Lodge getting ready to come back on for the Roosters. And the Cowboys, in the meantime, enjoying some really good field position. No movement of Tal Malolo on the bench for the Cowboys. As the ball goes with Dearden, right up to the line. This time, Leilua's offload, but it's a stray. And the Roosters have hung on again, and Suali with the ball. Just, a, just lacking a little bit of their mojo, the Cowboys. Well, they are. Leilua, they're, they're trying to isolate Sam Walker, who's made half a dozen tackles in this second half on Luciano Leilua. And Leilua trying to pass the ball, just forces it out. Can't be taken by Val Holmes. 
really attempted to unlock anything on their, their right side. And Nanai on that right edge. It's all going like Lua's way. Egan! May went off out the back for Radley to come on. And Lodge is going to now go back into the match for Butcher. As a high ball. Ooh. It's allowed to bounce. That's dangerous. Drinkwater back for it. That seemed like a real mix-up there. To not take that one on the floor. How dangerous was that? Well, the hammer was going backwards. I, I thought Drinkwater was going to get the ball. Just a, a, a mix-up between both of them. They won another 15 metres off the back of the bounce, the, the Roosters. Drinkwater that time taken around the legs by Verrills. Gee, this is a, a hard set again. There's been so much of this footy today. It is, it is real semi-final defence. Last tackle. Low kick towards Tupo. Fields it on halfway. Well done, Roosters. And straight back into Cowboy territory. Yeah, that, that is great defence from the Roosters. Early in the first half, they did the same thing, and that turned the game. I, I thought from that moment on, the Roosters dominated the, the 30 minutes of the first half. Now Walker, Lodge. And uh, three defenders there, Robson, McLean, Leilua, Verrills, they're 20 from the line. Here's Radley back into the game. Kiri to Crichton. One man low, one over the top. It was Cotter low down, Townsend high up. Tedesco lurking, Radley, quick hands, Watson. Dribbles a pass, play on Roosters. Scooped up Kiri, chance right side. Manu, right foot step, ball spits out the back. The Cowboys come up with a ball through Holmes. Call from sideline official saying Cowboys knocked it on. They want to challenge it. The direction the ball went, it was pretty obvious as Manu just jumped off that right foot. Dean's made contact with the ball. Might have been a little unfortunate Go. not to get away with that one. But no challenge, no captain's challenge. They keep that in the bag. 14-6, what a big set this is now. Roosters scrum 11 metres out. Where are the prime suspects? Tedesco is left side of the scrum. Walker is on the right. Manu's out that way, as you know. Lethal both sides here. They rush around oh. from the scrum. The door opens up. Help yourself to everything in the fridge. Sam Verrills, Kiri, deception, ran away from the scrum, and Verrills said, see you later. Yeah, there's some finger pointing and some chatting to the referee. Verrills, he was the man that picked it up at the back, just throws the dummy. Kiri, everyone goes for him. Lodge had a hand on Griffin Neem. Just Ooh, slowed him up a well, bit, didn't he? Well, they've confirmed it. I think there's some Tigers fans that remember a try taken off them for the slightest of holds. Might have been a might have been a try scored in Origin this year too. <laughs> Time to move on, Brendy. <laughs> <laughs> there's Verrills. Well, this look. There's no doubt. That no the, doubt the, he's the, at the, it. The, no the, doubt he's at it. it spun him around. Spun. Spun him around. around. That's that's blatant. With him trying to get to <laughs> Sam Verrills. The he's grip was still on him. That's so. right. He's facing then the wrong way in trying to break free of the clutch of Lodge. Well, Chad Townsend's just come up to Ashley Klein and had a word with him, but it, it's not Ashley Klein's call. No, bunker. We'll break it down again in a moment. You unpack it at home. Is Neem denied a fair chance to make a tackle so close to the man who runs the hole. Well, like anything else, any sort of contact denying a player a chance to make a tackle is a penalty. Now, that, 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 that that's his play. It mightn't have been a, a real strong grip, but it was no. enough to slow him down. Just that split second. And uh, the fact that Neem went to his left rather than his right. There you go. Stay behind it is now 20 points to six. It is 14 the difference. It's a significant margin, but you know the form of the Cowboys this year. So that's the six they average conceding in second halves this year. They don't concede anymore on average. 
So Lodge brings it back. He has been strong for them today. Lodge, the late season pickup. Then for Suwali to come in and take a run. Joseph's numbers today. He's 12th hit up there. He's up around 120 metres. Which is which is what they do every kickoff. It's the front rower into Joseph Suwali. And two great runs from Lodge and Suwali. Now spreading it to centre field. Good set to follow up points. They're, they're, well, they're obviously back, the Roosters. After a a string of losses they're they're looking for five straight wins here when you talk about it's been a great month for momentum them. for the finals still some big matches to come mind you big news today by the way as this one fielded by Drinkwater, we were thinking south's roosters first game at the new allianz stadium announced today it will be nrlw dragons and roosters as the very first game that is played at the stadium as the uh, match before the Roosters tussle with the Rabbitohs. That is a great honour for the NRLW competition and those two teams. Five metres in, there they are. The, the Roosters are represented here today, right on cue. Well found. Joe the cameraman there. Neem over halfway. Cowboys in possession, have to score next. Cotter is with it. They're working left for Dearden. That may have been touched by Rooster. It's scooped up by Manu. Yes, they've got it touched. So it will be a Cowboys ball. Manu knew it. Shot clock on. Yep. Where do you want it in the middle? He just thought Ashley Klein middle, might guys. have seen Let's it, go. but uh, he Let's did. So the Cowboys get a chance now, 14 points behind. Still a stack of time left on the clock. and. As we've said a number of times, their final 20 minutes in games has been scintillating. Let's go down to the sideline, Lara Pitt. You mentioned, Vossi, an incredible moment for this team here, the NRLW reigning champions, the Roosters. They will officially open Allianz Stadium ahead of the Roosters v the Rabbitohs in just a few weeks' time. It, it all gets underway, the NRLW, next weekend right here on Fox League after an incredible... 2021 season earlier this year. Make sure you get your tickets. Uh, you to see it live at nrl.com slash tickets. Home of Rugby League right here, Fox League. Nima's with it. Told you earlier, he has scored tries in each of the Cowboys' last two matches. He's fresh, nine metres away from the line. Dearden, Leilua, still they go left, the Cowboys. Drink water into it. Where's something for Jeremiah Nanai? 16 tries this season. Barely oh. seen the ball today. Now they come right. Neem crashes through. Offloads the Cowboys with Robson. Neem not the try scorer, but an integral part in the scoring of that try. They've got depth. Their starting 13 is good. Their bench is very good as well. Oh, their bench is outstanding. When you have a look at it, they're coming with three front rowers with Jordan McLean fit for this afternoon's game. Tanoa Brown's there. Griffin Neem, an outstanding young player, has had a terrific season for the Cowboys. He's got a try in the last couple of games for them. Finds himself into space, getting through that Angus Crichton tackle. Crichton had him, but he was able to get his arms free and then pushing up down the middle... Reese Robson steps Tedesco, takes Connor Watson into the end goal. And that's exactly what they needed. They got the call go their way. Pass was touched. So another set of six down this end of the field. And lots of time left, Vossi. 20 to 10, 20 to 12 very soon. I'll give you a stat too, just on two of these great young guns the Cowboys have. In Nanai and Neem, it was the corresponding round last year that we saw them in first grade for the first time. It was round 22 last year. How far they have come in 12 months, particularly uh, Nanai, but it was round 22 against the Tigers. There you have it. Quick strike back from the Cowboys, and it is 20 points to 12. Randy's getting all excited about House of the Dragon, uh, which is coming up beginning August 22 on Fox Showcase, or you can watch it in 4K Ultra HD only on Foxtel. You you latched on to Game of Thrones earlier. You said oh, a long, time cool. ago. long time, long time ago. ago. <laughs> I read the books before the, before the 
before the TV show came mm. out. So I'll be watching House of Dragons. So House of the Dragons not about Anthony Griffin and, and <laughs> Zach Lomax and <laughs> Ben Hunt, no? No, not I'm quite. very much rugby league mode, no, Brandy, but they tell me it's very good. That comes Tornella Brown now. 20 points to 12. And on the Cowboys' scoring average this year, they have averaged 26 points a game. Now, their average is good enough to potentially win this one. Next scorer, so important to this match. With a stack of time left, 21 to go. Game one of Super Saturday, it's a good one. Tamworth next, Tigers and Sharks. And Broncos end the Knights tonight. Again, the Broncos just have to win after a couple of losses. Last tackle here for North Queensland. At the moment, the front runners, as far as the Queensland sides are concerned. Townsend's bomb. Tupo has caught everything today. And close to the sideline, he does the job again. Tough man to take out if he's not very close to the sideline there. But the kick jams them into a, onto a touch line, and they're going to have to work at centre field through Victor Radley. Oh, he's lost it. Oh, he's lost it. Another error inside their own half. Momorowski did one straight after the break. Cowboys get an opportunity. Leilua with the ball. They are 31 from the line, and that is only tackle number two. Talmalolo gets busy. He's now 22 metres away. Roosters doing a bit of goal line or almost goal line defence. Townsend for Neem. He soldiers forward for another 10 metres. Now the Roosters are back on their goal line. Robson to Townsend. Again, the attack is left. Or Noah Brown with it. Good low tackle, Connor Watson. Correcting a lot out Sam Walker's way. It was Watson with that tackle. Townsend's kick. Looking for Nano. Ball bounces loose. Into the arms of Tupo. Now a decision to be made. They always go line drop out I first. But the, okay. I will keep an eye on it though. That's yeah, the bunker will have a look Trust to see if Nano got a hand to it. Yeah, here's the steal. Where is he? To Noah Brown drops off, as do the... Ooh. Griffin Neem just might have had his hands on his back as Robson pulls the ball at Nant Nanai in a great position to take that one. Momorowski hits the ground hard. Did he knock it on? No. Let's go. No confirmed. Short one from the Roosters. Leapers are there. Cowboys. Gee, it's been a battle. You do a little highlights package from uh, short line dropouts today that's well worth watching. Great tackle there. Lodge raced up there to make the tackle on Hess, who's back on for the Cowboys. They attack through Leilua, offload for Dearden, now back to the right side. Talbololo's offload was risky. And ball on the deck, Roosters fans unhappy. Talbololo, another run, 10 metres from the line. Fourth tackle down North Queensland, trailing by eight. Townsend, Hess onto of the ball. Kiri, was it Kiri? It was Ferrells who made the tackle low down. Last play, Cowboys dead and they're going to run it. And Tupo is all over it. He's been great at defusing kicks. And that time defensively, he was up to the challenge. And gee, that's great defence from the Roosters. That really is. And a couple of grass cutting tackles, one from Verrells. And Cohen Hess was an absolute classic. And otherwise, he gets through there. That's terrific. Jared Maria Hargreaves back on the field and a barnstorming run from the front rower. Now, Swali. There is some uh, venom there in the run and venom in the defence. Offloaded for Manu. He offloads for Maria Hargreaves. See, that's some big plays there to get themselves out of trouble from that man, Swali, and Maria Hargreaves. This is being played at semi-final intensity. Croydon double fend on Townsend. It's a penalty out of it. Well, Chad say, wait, I on. Did, but then you kept going. Are you serious? Well, he was still running. Penalty. Yeah, rule on there, that's right. Play on, back there. It was Angus Croydon was still running, well, he was wasn't he? He was, he was yeah. Well, he was trying to get away. Why? Why? He said play on himself earlier. 
Penalty goes the way of the Roosters. Now it's the Cowboys' turn to defend. So tense, but the Roosters with that breathing space. Yeah, that was a big couple of sets defensively for the Roosters there. From the restart, they brought it right in the middle. Ground for Lodge. He's uh, proving his worth for the side today. This time with Walker and then Tedesco. Nanai on him. It gets away. He's beaten two. They don't know what to grab with Tedesco. That's incredible what he just did there. The glutes were working. Six to go. Eight metres away from the line. And a dummy half goes Manu. Now another huge set here. Verrills, Maria Hargreaves, Radley thought better of passing. Five from the line. Only the second. Verrills with it. Lodge has got one already today. Robson hangs on for dear life there with Nanai. Here is Verrills. Cowboys are offside on the short side. The crowd saw that. They took off early. No set restart that time. Verrills for Waria Hargreaves. It's not just a great day for the Wiggers. The prop forwards have saluted for the Roosters. A lodge Waria Hargreaves double. I would have given you 5,000 to 1 before kickoff. Yeah, both front rowers have been outstanding today. Uh, the opening 20 minutes from both of them, I, I think, has set up what the Roosters have done throughout the game. Maria Hargreaves just back on the field for his second stint, came up with a big run at the other end of the field to get the Roosters out of trouble and then just powers onto that one. Bursting through a couple of Cowboy defenders. Big moment, front rowers scoring. Rare thing that they both grab one. Three tries for the season. That is, that's a huge tally for JWH. He's only got 16 in his career. That goes back all the way to 2009. Gee, has been good. He was great right from the first run of the day, the kickoff, yeah. and uh, so was Lodge. 28 runs between them, 250 metres, has six tackle busts, has line breaks. The front rowers have done it all this afternoon for the Roosters. Come up with some big defence. What if they get all their front rowers fit for the finals? Colin Siwa, Siwa Tokiaho, yeah. Lindsay Collins. Well, I think Lindsay Collins is back next week. Uh, Siwa mightn't be back until round 24 or 25, but, um, you know, that's four. Oh, that, that, that's arguably the best. It has the to best be. Yeah. Would have to be the best front row <laughs> rotation. That's, yes. So Walker's kicked it again, and the margin is 14. So now the Cowboys will have to get to their scoring average just to draw level. Here's the front rowers and the middles combining. Very rarely see that. Who did it better? Who put the ball down better? Lodge or Rui Hargreaves? Well, Rui Hargreaves was Hargreaves. Yes. Just, just brute force. He played the camera better too. Well, 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 Lodge, you know, Lodge had the work done for him, didn't he, with Victor just holding the pass up beautifully. But both have been terrific. For Lodge, it was only the fifth try of his career. What a day, the two front rowers! That's what Rhea Hargreaves come back again. All the Roosters fans hopping onto his back. Plays it tough, but uh, he's very much a warrior of our competition, Jared. Now at 33. With a lot of tough, tough carries in that career. Lodge follows up there. Already they're 15 metres short of halfway. Beryl's on the scoop. Just over 13 to go. We know <laughs> the Cowboys, we do quote the Manly game a lot, but at Brookvale not so long ago, they came home like a steam train to win. They're going to have to do it again here. Tupo's with it. Try to get away. Captured there by Hiku. Play on the call, or is it? Nanai got the intercept. He did. The only reason he does that is because you are dragging him towards yeah, the He didn't go out, though. Well, contentious that, again, Cowboys. No rubber yeah. the green here. That, he, he thought of, about this one for a long time, Ash Klein. Well, he's saying he didn't go out, but yeah. that's, and he didn't. But if the ref called held, then ref, that ref called held, and he was still dragging him. That was his explanation. Mm -hmm. Okay, Roosters. Twelve and a half minutes to go. 
Wairia Hargreaves, it, it was a close call. Let's stay with the play, 12 to go. Next match up on Super Saturday, Tigers and the Sharks. The Roosters looking to cement top eight spot for the moment and a fifth straight win. Verrills out of dummy half, the entire front row have scored tries today for the Roosters. And that right, time, Verrills onto his back. Video review. I have no try. Mm. Confirm that it is held up. I actually lose sight just at the start. Though. He's not claiming it, Sam. No, I don't think so. I just he wants to play. He start came in it. backwards. Tom Gilbert, the Cowboys player, when he does drive him backwards, gets him into the in goal. Oh boy, that's a bit closer than I thought. Because he's able to twist his body towards the just ground. Just looking to determine if Sam Verrills gets the ball down here. But he's hanging around the ten to play it. Surely, I know you've got to review. review. Oh, that's, 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 that's right. Right. scored. That's well, right. well, Sam Verrills has accidentally scored a try. He's almost apologised. <laughs> I'm sorry, I I didn't claim it. Um, so he's now a. I don't know. That's the reverse of the fib. <laughs> He's, he's fibbed himself as an no try. Sam Verrills maintains possession and grounds the ball oh, in the end goal. He's fibbed that he decision. hasn't. That he he's fibbed that he. Plus I haven't he, scored. Don't try. And, and now he has scored. Don't try and work it out. He's the reverse fibber. He's got a double, the first of his career, in a week where it's confirmed he's signed with the Gold Coast Titans. <laughs> Sam Verrills kicks the Roosters clear. And again, the, the defence there, the goal line defence of the Cowboys forgot about Sam Verrills. Threw a dummy, backed his way into the in goal, did a great job. Takes off, ducks under, gets away from Chad Townsend or Drinkwater and then is just able to twist his body back on the inside there and keep the ball under control. And do enough, Fossey. That's all he had to do. He, he did enough. You've scored a lot of tries in your career, Brandy. Would you know if you've scored a try every time? Sometimes when you've got players, you know, like in the position Tom Gilbert was. You're not sure whether the ball's touching line, touch the line or uh, in the grass or not, but I, I would be getting up saying, yes, it's a try. Yeah, that's right. As I said, I'll try. stick with the title. He is an RF. He's a reverse fibber. And he'll have to live with that tag now, Sam Verrills, for the rest of his life. 32 to 12. 20 points the margin. Sam Verrills has signed with the Titans for the next two years. And then, of course, scored the try off the back of the scrum through the dummy. No one was prepared for that. And then had a bit of work to do, didn't he? Had to break the tackle of drink water and do enough to get out of the grip of Tom <laughs> Gilbert. He That's his reaction. It. That's it. To the bunker decision. What a, what a, what a reaction. Sam Verrills. Uh, a, famously, a grand final try scorer, Sam Verrills. The Gold Coast have picked up a, a really good signing. So, Roosters feeling good about things now. Does that mean that Maria Hargreaves runs any slower? No, it does not. 20 points the lead. And the Roosters are making sure that they are going to be playing finals football. Sitting eighth on the ladder coming into today. They take themselves up to 26 points, which keeps them, well, for the moment, fall clear of the Raiders, who play the Dragons tomorrow on Fox League on the Sunday ticket. Well, the, the Robson try with 20 minutes to go and the conversion by Val Holmes got them back to within eight. Now the Roosters have scored two tries in the last five minutes to really make a statement in this one. It's a little bit of pressure too on Parramatta who lost last night. That ball, was it knocked back or not? Play on's the call! Play on for the Roosters. No chance to review it. Drinkwater saying we've been wrong, sir. Roosters to Desco. The milestone game. Not a whole lot of freedom for him. Although he's stuck up with half a dozen tackle busts all the same. Standard stuff for Tedesco. Roosters spreading it. Manu back in field. They're looking to put a big number on the Cowboys now, having cracked the 30. Walker's there. Stepping back into trouble. How many front rowers can score tries? What about a double for Lodge or Maria Hargreaves? Radley there, Kiri. Fingertip control. They've got it. Oh, have they got to go forward? No, he had the whistle to the mouth. And then said, play on. 
striker. He was going to blow the whistle, Klein. Like tip on here. We're on tackle four. I have no try. Confirm that the tip on does go forward. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's a little bit different than normal tip ons. He actually spun around. Let's have a look at. And is facing Tedesco. Does that go backwards or forwards? It's very Just hard to, determine to tell. Which way the ball travels after it comes off Egan Butcher? Nat Butcher. And as the ball is passed by Kiri, it goes behind Nat Butcher. Oh dear. Well, it's impossible to tell. He's now he said no try. Imagine if you went to court, and you you could argue that you can't rule on forward passes, but we're allowed to rule on tip ons. Nat Butcher's hand is behind the ball and propels it towards his opponent's dead ball line. We have a decision. All right, so they're going to take the try off the Roosters there. No double for the youngster, Joseph Suwali. It, it's almost impossible to tell, no, no. isn't it? Well, that, well right. It, uh, see, it, it can be a, a, a bit of an optical illusion, the fact that Describe, he spun his body up. around and it looked Describe like, gave the impression that yeah, it went backwards because he was facing his own goal line when he tapped it back. Julius Sumner, Try Alexander in the commentary box. Yeah, Fox yeah, just <laughs> putting <laughs> some physics to it. Do you want me to add an <laughs> equation to that? I would love an equation. Yeah. Yes, I would love that. 32 to 12. Come on, let's go, guys. Cowboys 84% completion in, rate and find themselves down by 20. Um, again, I can only highlight Please. some of the stats. Some of the, go, the numbers it. very light on. The running Race. meters for the Cowboys today. Race. The likes of Maria Hargreaves and Lodge Crichton all over. Uh, the returns of the Cowboys forwards here. It'll be a very proud coach, I think, Trent Robinson that uh, we will hear from later in our big Super Saturday coverage as we go into the night and the fan on this evening as well, the latest episode of The Fan. There is Trent Robinson. I, I think he'll look back to the, the, the early part of the second half where they're under a lot of pressure. Score 15, 14, 6 as they get the ball now. That was a great one-on-one -on -one steal there from Momorowski. Just reefing the ball out. I'll give you an amazing stat once this set plays out that the Fox Sports Lab have found out about the Roosters' front row. The fact that we've had prop hooker and prop all score today, the starting front row. They are 21 metres away from the line now. Walker inside for Lodge. He had the right arm free there. The big mitt exposed itself there. Didn't pass. Verrills. Kiri for Tedesco. Fend. Stand in the tackle. He won't be passing there. He's kicking out there. They can't get him to ground. This time, Verrills to the right side for Walker. The kick is perfectly weighted. Dearden's got nowhere to go. Randy front row, all scoring a try. Prop hooker, prop for the Roosters. Do you remember round 13, 1982? 40, 40 years ago? I might have been watching, but I don't remember. The Queenslander Dave Brown scored. Remember Big Dave Brown? Yeah, big the front Dave. Up. Kevin Webb was playing hooker. He scored a try. Mm -hmm. And Royce Ayliff. Royce Ayliff. Royce Ayliff plunged over for a try. Oh, great rooster. Royce what a trio Ayliff. there. Short drop out again. The Cowboys have got a result. Nanai's caught a kick, but it's at the opposite end to where they would hope to get ultimate reward. Seven minutes to go. Got away from the Cowboys this one. They uh, they drew back to eight down at one stage. Mm. There's Leilua with it. So their first visit to the SCG at this point is proving an unhappy one. Eight metres short of halfway, and it means that Penrith will remain six points clear at the top of the ladder. Three rounds to play, and Cowboys differential copping a real blow today. Oh, gee, the contact's big. Sawali. There we go, over the sideline. Flag is up. You, you can just hear the two bodies come together there. And it's been a great battle on that side of the field. Murray Tolungi. Um, he's had an outstanding game, Sawali. Cowboys to play Warriors, Rabbitohs and Panthers in the run home to the finals. And uh, for the Roosters, they have the Storm and the Rabbitohs and the Tigers. Tigers coming up next week. And uh, Storm and the Rabbitohs. Rabbitohs at the opening of Allianz Stadium. 
There's the live ladder. Roosters rock solid and on points differential ahead of the Broncos. It highlights how important for a game three of uh, Super Saturday is. Broncos and Knights. Yes. Knights coming off a win as well. Kiri to Lodge. If they had more points, this is some statement from the Roosters today. There's not too many areas you could say they they haven't totally outpointed their opposition today. Tedesco with it here. Oh, has that been knocked down? He's got it back. He's trying to do a magic trick. We'll pass it to someone or play with it for the last five minutes, James Tedesco. Well, he sort of half gave up there because he ran behind one of his players. Victor's been strong, hasn't he? Victor Radley. Right Great start, moment. open up with two try assists. Right at the moment, uh, Roosters beat Cowboys this year at 60 points to 16. Here's Lodge offloading. Verrills. They're, they're looking like they'll get another try. Cowboys defence still working hard. There was Holmes in defence there on Butcher. Still on for the Roosters on the last tackle. A high one. It's not drink waters. In from the wing. And uh, Talungi comes down with it for the Cowboys. And with Cramp as well. They're coming off their goal line. Lodge came up on Gilbert. I had a flash of uh, MG on Paul Hoff next door at the old Sydney Football Stadium there. Having flashes of Mark Guy. It's not a, not a, a healthy thing, I wouldn't have, think, would have thought. As uh, Nenai is now held up. We've got him down for just over 40 running metres today, Jeremiah. So the Roosters have done a job on him. Taumalolo's running stats today, under 70 metres. You know, there's, there's some real hard work from the Roosters' defence that has brought great result. Dearden rushes a kick. It's down to Tupo. Back he comes, the big long legs running up over halfway. Well, that kick chase just highlighted the, the, what the Roosters have, and their attitude that they've come with today. They... It's still going, the Roosters, even at this stage. Yeah, they had both kickers nominated and pressure on both kickers. The centre field with Kiri, Tedesco, and then across for Manu to put a fend on Holmes. He's able to come again to make the tackle with Dearden. Suwali, they do look like scoring. Tedesco to Radley, it's gone forward to Drinkwater. We're going to play the initial one. Okay, go. so it's going to be a Cowboys feed. Not one of the starting forward pack for the Cowboys has run for anywhere near 100 metres today. You compare that to Waria Hargreaves and Lodge. JWH 168 metres, Lodge 152. Yeah, and while possession does favour the Roosters, it's not it's not a landslide. 27 sets the Cowboys have been able to get through. 32 sets for the Roosters. So it's not a huge amount of difference, but certainly a massive difference in terms of the work rate. Well, there you go. The two starting front rowers for the Roosters have run more for the starting six for the Cowboys. That's, that's a hell of a stat. Cowboys with the ball on their own 20. 32 to 12. Two minutes to go. And still they're hitting hard, the Roosters. Trent Robertson's side are alive and kicking in this competition. As Dearden makes a break. You'd call it a half break there. Seven line breaks so far today. The third one of the day for the Cowboys. He's still going, Dearden. And legs up with Tabuai Fado. We're going to have the box set. And Wingers tries. It's come late. The try scorer is Hamaso Tabuai Fido. After earlier tries from Taolangi, Tupo and Suwali. Yeah, and that try was all Tommy did. And the power of the, the number six bouncing off defenders. Hit the ground once. He thought he was held. They thought he was held, but he kept going. Runs off a pass from Robson. Hits the deck there after the tackle from Egan Butcher. Gets away from Sam Walker. Gets across the field. Has them backpedalling. Links up with Hamaso who just skirts down that touchline. No one in front of him there. And it is a consolation try for the Cowboys. Yet, well, they'll take it. 32-16.
All four wingers and the two hookers scoring tries in this match. So just a, a late save on their points differential numbers for the Cowboys who uh, have Cronulla at their heels. Melbourne Storm not far away. South Sydney making a charge. This is some race for the Premiership. So here's the here's the box set of wingers try. Yeah, Sawali the first one. A great pass there from Victor Radley. Tulangi, a tip on from Luciano Leilua and the power of Tulangi getting over the Roosters. And that was a rare thing for the Cowboys to be down that end in the first half. Great hands on the inside and a great put down by Daniel Tupo. That's the three wingers. And here's the four. Hamaso, the easiest of the four. The great work from Tommy Deaton to set it up on the inside. One minute to go and we'll get into post-match here. Plenty of interviews from the SCG and then kick off our preview of the Tigers and the Sharks from Tamworth. A Super Saturday, travelling some territory here on Fox League. Was that a forward pass? Yes, straight, yes it was, straight from the start. Not called. I think uh, the Roosters up by 14, can let that one slide. Uh, one minute to go, the final seconds is Tamalolo and Dearden keeping it going. Leilua, that's gone forward. And uh, Suali onto it. This is an advantage play. It's almost like a, a free play for the Roosters after that. Tedesco comes back from where the drop ball emanated and then cops the tackle. So he's going to be a winner in his 200th game. Manu's away there. And he's lost the ball in the tackle. It's all a bit sloppy. Uh, you might as well just say... Where do you want the scrum? Actually, Mars should just send him to the showers. Finish it here. Yeah, they'll, they'll take their time getting to the scrum. That, that'll be it. We won't get to pack it. The Big Roosters win. have made it five wins in a row. This Premiership, the race for the 2022 title, is really on. 12th win of the season and fifth in a row. Beating the Cowboys, only their sixth defeat of the season. Their first visit to the SCG in the club's history has ended in a 14-point loss. Full-time, Roosters 32, the Cowboys 18.